Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm gonna be doing a full face of Clean Beauty. And for those of you who do not know, Clean Beauty is basically skincare or like any beauty products that are contain basically clean natural products so they don't have any toxins or any like harmful chemicals and overall they just contain really good for you products that would not harm your skin or your body and some of the products today i have not tried before and some of them i already tried and i love so it would be combination of like try on first impression and also showing you my favorite gems so without further ado let's get started so to start off i'm gonna prime my face with the ole henriksen banana bright primer i actually didn't know that ole henriksen is a clean beauty brand but apparently it is so i'm really excited to try it i've never tried it before i had it for a while and when i was looking through my primers to find one that is clean beauty uh, i saw this one and like I never tried it I don't know why I kind of forgot about it but I'll try it now and hopefully it will work so this one has vitamin C and banana powder inspired pigment so I think it's a little bit yellowish so it should like help to brighten up the skin so yeah it is kind of yellow It smells nice. It smells like oranges. I guess for the like because of the vitamin C. Yeah, like do you guys see that? Like it gave my skin such a beautiful glow. And I feel like it evened out my skin also. So far I'm really liking it. I think it looks really really great. Sorry, there has been like a number alert because now in Montreal we have a curfew so after 8 p.m. we cannot go out so anyways so yeah I really liking it it looks really good it makes my skin really glowy hopefully it's gonna give like a glow from within look even under the foundation but yeah so far this one is really great next I'm gonna like put an eye cream and I'm gonna use the pharmacy cheer up brightening vitamin C eye cream and this is also my first time using it I, again I had it for a while but I have never used it but I love pharmacy I know pharmacy it's a great clean beauty brand I use so many of their products it has like a little this one has a little like pink tint but it doesn't smell like anything let's see oh it has like a really nice like jelly texture I always use eye cream before applying makeup just because I don't know I just feel like it makes my concealer sit better I love that ice I love ice cream I love that eye cream it's really nice and it like it makes my skin look so like my under eye area look really like brighten it really does bright up it also gives like my under eyes like a nice glow and it feels like really really moisturizing so I really like it so far next I'm gonna be a little bit extra just because I want to try to use as much clean beauty products as possible so I'm also gonna use the Farsali skin to blur um, perfecting priming serum and I'm gonna just use it on my t-zone where I'm a little bit more oily and where I have a little bit more like visible pores because this one is a smoothing one and I remember using it once and I did like it it doesn't have like silicone feel like for example the Smashbox um, blurring primer it's a little bit lighter in texture and it does feel really nice on the skin it smells nice <laughs> I'm going with a really light makeup look today so I don't want to overdo it so I just use a little bit on my t-zone and I also like it because it's not mattifying like I don't like matte face and this one does smooth your skin without making it looking without making it matte it's like nice and blurring and 
like I see like results right away with those products like my skin looks so glowy but the center is like blurred I would actually love using those products just by themselves even on days that I don't use makeup just to look a little bit more healthy and I don't know glowy now for foundation I'm gonna use one of my favorite like foundations which is the Cosas tinted face oil and I have two shades here I have the shade number 3.5 and number 2 I think I'm gonna go with number 2 because this one is matching my skin tone in winter and the other one is better for my summer tan so I love this product it's very 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 light coverage but it's perfect for an everyday I just like put two drops on each side of my face and I use my hands to rub it in and I love that I can use my hands with it because it's just really really easy to use especially for an everyday basis like I don't want to be sitting like and blending foundation for half an hour so this one is just really really quick and easy like it literally takes two minutes to apply because you use your hands and it also because it's an oil base foundation it leaves your skin nice and glowy it has a very really light coverage so as you can see you can still see my breakouts which I honestly don't really care especially on an everyday basis if I don't go anywhere like to an event or anything like that I don't really like full coverage foundations I don't like full coverage foundations at all I prefer light to medium but on an everyday I lean more towards the light coverage foundation so that was really quick and easy to blend I love how it looks it looks my skin looks so healthy and it looks like I have nothing on my skin like even if you look closely it would it would be really hard to tell that I wear foundation I mean it's not foundation it's like tinted face oil but still it like you would not be able to tell just because it just melts into your skin and it just looks like your skin but just a little bit more evened out for concealer I actually don't have any clean beauty concealers right now I would really like to try the Cosas concealer one day because I heard really great things about it but right now I don't have any clean beauty concealer so I'm gonna use my rare beauty concealer off camera and I'll be right back so now that I have my concealer on I think my base is looking really good you can see the Ola Henriksen primer under like underneath my foundation like you can see the glow it gives I think it looks really good and I actually really love how the concealer is sitting on top of this eye cream so so far I'm really happy with the base products next let's go to blush and for blush I have something really exciting it's the Lila B cream blush and it's in the color B sassy that's how it looks like it's just a really nice bright pink and can I just say this is like the cutest packaging ever it looks like a real little stone like I just love having it like on my makeup vanity and it's so heavy like it's heavier than the whole bottle of serum this little thing it's super super heavy like it's as heavy as a stone literally and I think that's why they tried to mimic like a stone looking product but it's really cute a little bit does go a long way especially because it's such a bright color but I really really liked it when I used it but it's been a while and I'm gonna use it again just to refresh my memory as you can see it's like super pigmented but it looks so pretty it blends so seamlessly this color is very bright color which when I go for like a very natural look overall I like a little bit more brighter like blush because I think it really makes me look a lot healthier and youthful wow that looks really really nice I really really like how it looks it just blended seamlessly and it like 
even though it looks matte in here it still like complements the glowy base and it doesn't take the glow away but this product is like so pricey and it's so little like i was so shocked how little it is like it costs almost 70 dollars which is like so expensive so obviously i would not recommend anyone paying like 70 dollars on a blush especially when it's that small but if you do want to get it it does look really good and a little bit goes a long way but if you don't want to spend that much honestly cosas have like one of the best formulas for cream blush and i have two of the cosas blushes and i absolutely love them so this is also a much cheaper option but i wanted to try the lila b one for the video but and i really 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 am impressed and i really like it it like gives like very bright pink glow but it still looks pretty natural like i love how it looks next for highlighter uh i wanted to use like a highlighter that i'm not too familiar so i can try it on camera and i have here the Farsali jelly beam illuminator and this product is so weird like i tried it i think once few months ago and i did like how it looks like on the cheeks it looks really pretty but i was just a bit confused how to use it and it kind of it looks kind of gross because i don't know if you can see like it has liquid i don't want to like tilt it too much because if i i think like the liquid is gonna come off but as you can see it has like really weird like texture it looks kind of gross but i remember liking how it looks like on the cheeks so i'll try it again today i'm gonna use my hands just because it's so like liquidy that i really don't it, like it's really hard to use it i guess but i'm gonna use it and i'm gonna blend it with my fingers it looks really pretty though on the cheeks like wow that looks so gorgeous yeah i do really <laughs> i do really like it the only thing that throws me off of this product is like how it looks it looks kind of gross like i said but if you can get over it and you don't mind it does look really beautiful on the cheeks a bit of my nose it like gives like a really natural natural glow it really complements like the natural makeup look so yeah i really do like how it looks so far now for eyebrows i don't have anything new to try i have here my milk makeup brow gels which i love i have i have here three that's how much i love them i have like the clear one the one in the color haze and the one in the color dutch that's just the darker one i think i'm just gonna use the dutch because i don't have any brow pencil to try and the one in the color dutch i love using it on days that like i don't want to fill out my eyebrows but i still want them to look full and fluffy this one is just perfect it has such a good tint just you have to make sure not to press too hard because it can go a little bit overboard <laughs> like look at the difference actually now that i'm looking at it i think it's a little bit too dark for me the color dutch is like dark brown there is the color haze which is too light for me i think i'm just gonna go with the clear one just to blend it out a bit so just like that on top just to soften the color so it's not as dark and bold and if you want to switch from like the benefit or uh, like anastasia to clean beauty milk makeup has some great brow products so i would really recommend again here i'm gonna go a little bit lighter i think i got too excited and like i did too many layers here as you can see if i do two layers it looks a lot more natural so again this one is very pigmented not like the benefit gimme brow the benefit gimme brow is very light it has like it has pigment but it's very very soft pigment this one has more intense pigment so you have to be careful okay i think that looks good my eyebrows look 
really good and bushy and it actually looks like I filled them up even though I haven't used a pencil at all so I love the milk makeup eyebrow gels now for eyeshadow I have a very very exciting product and it's the Cosas 10 second eyeshadow so it's basically like an oily eyeshadow and you have to shake it to mix the oil and the pigment together and then you apply it and it's super super liquidy just like that and then I use my finger to blend it and you have like 10 seconds to blend and then it just dries up and it does not move which is great because it means it's gonna stay the whole day on your eyelids and it's just the quickest I look I've been loving this thing so much on an everyday basis and usually I love my Kaja liquid eyeshadow because how simple it is but I think I love this one even more like it just gives such a beautiful wash of color by the way I use the color copper halo so it's this kind of coppery orangey bronzy look just gives nice effortless look but it does look like you spend some time but it literally takes two seconds to apply and I also love the finish of this I find the finish of this is so unique because it's like it's not bad but it's not like glittery shimmery it's just a very natural soft glow finish kind of like a dewy foundation look but just as an eyeshadow on the eyes it just looks so good and it just stays the whole day it's just amazing i find it such a unique product and like i've been loving it and using it almost every day and i will be for sure purchasing some more colors because of how much i love it next i want to smoke out the look a little bit and just define my eyes just a tiny bit more and i'm gonna be using the milk makeup gel liners in the color ceo and if you never tried milk makeup liners, you have to try them. They're one of the best liners out there and the most durable, waterproof, the whole day wear gel liners. And like, I'll prove it to you. Like, if you want to smudge it, you have like two seconds to smudge it. You have to do it really quickly because the moment it sets, like, it's set. Like, it's not going anywhere which I love because so many times I like did some liner on my lash line and after a few hours like I look in the mirror and I see like a line on my lid from the liner because it transferred and I just hate it and after I tried the milk makeup like I just put it on as you can see the liner and I'm just gonna wait two seconds or three seconds to let it dry and I'll show you that it is so durable but yeah, I've been like looking for a good gel liner that is not going to transfer and I tried this one and it is just really creamy, super easy to apply. It's not like a dry one that you have to drag on your like lash line and then it hurts. Like, okay, I think that's enough time to let it set. So I just, as you can see, like it doesn't go anywhere and I'm pressing pretty hard. Like it's there, it stays. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just that good so i've been loving the milk makeup liners and they have so many colors this one the color ceo so it's a dark brown and i'm gonna use like a small brush liner brush just to smoke it a bit really really quickly Just like that it was so easy so quick literally like if I wasn't be, if I wouldn't be talking this eye look would probably take me like two or three minutes to do and it's really really effortless but it does look like you put some effort into it so next I'm gonna use a 
one of my favorite mascaras and it's the Cosas Big Clean Mascara. I've been talking about this mascara many times. It's one of my favorite clean beauty mascaras. It's, it gives me a lot of volume and makes my lashes look really full and long but at the same time it does not clump my lashes on, or give me spider lashes. It is really really great option if you're looking for a clean beauty mascara. There is also the Milk Makeup like Kush Mascara which I tried and I also really like it but I just find the Cosas giving me a little bit more volume but both of them are really great clean beauty options. So just a quick look as you can see this eye is with the mascara and this one is without mascara. Like mascara adds so much like I think this mascara makes my lashes look really really good I'm just gonna do the second eye and I'll be right back so now that my eyes are completely done and I have my mascara on it's time to move to lips and because I'm gonna use a matte lipstick I'm gonna prep my lips with the Cosas Sports Lip Balm and it's not my favorite lip balm ever, but it is pretty good and it smells nice and minty. But it does get the job done, like it moisturizes the lips and it's a nice base for any matte lipstick. So I have been liking using it from time to time. And for lipstick, I'm gonna use the By Beauty matte lipstick in the shade chai which is dark nude color and i'm gonna use it on the center of my lips and then smudge it with my finger just because i want my lips also to be quite natural I love using it on its own if I want something more dark but I also love like to just smudge it with my finger if I want more of like washed out lip color and I can leave it like this I love how it looks but I want my lips to have a little bit more shine and I want to lighten up the color just a little bit because I find it looks a little bit too dark with like the natural makeup look so I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm in the shade Canatonic, which is my favorite shade. It's just really nice. Nude pink. So I just use it on top. And it just gives my lips a little bit extra gloss and extra hydration. Please let me know guys in the comments below if you tried any clean beauty products and if you did, which ones are your favorite and if you haven't, what do you think overall about clean beauty and if you would like to try any clean beauty products. I honestly am a big fan of clean beauty. I think it's great because you know that all the products inside are good for you and I think there's just such a good clean beauty products out there like all the products that I use today I absolutely love so I think there's just so many options but yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week bye